Melbourne tobacco stores going up in smoke as arson becomes the message of choice for gangs seeking control of the illegal trade in smokes and vapes. Melbourne's tobacco war has exploded again. A suspicious fire which began at a tobacconist. A string of arson attacks. Shops at Patterson Lakes were firebombed. As the price for a pack of cigarettes hovers around 50 bucks, demand for cheaper unregulated packets smuggled in from overseas is being answered by under-the-counter sellers and criminal networks are eager to milk a trade becoming more lucrative than narcotics. This industry has cost the Australian government more than a billion dollars over the past two years and made those gangs involved extremely wealthy. Bikies and Middle Eastern crime families seeking to regulate the black market through a so-called tobacco commission by setting a price minimum enforced through violence. That minimum, as well as a reported protection fee of up to $1,000 a week, serving to suppress competition and line the gang's pockets. Shops who've refused to comply, seeking a larger slice for themselves or for simply being competition to gangs, have learned if caught, underworld responses are swift. Dozens of shops have been targets of arson attacks this year. Violence escalated in August with the murder of underworld veteran Mohamed Kestia gunned down near Chapel Street. His death believed by some to be linked to his role in the illegal tobacco trade. For police, this growing violence heightens the urgency to bring it under control. If they continue along this route committing arson and arson attacks, it's going to be bad for business.